All right, you guys left a ton of comments on my Evapo Rust rust removal video. Uh, I've set up a little experiment here with some other stuff that you guys recommended that I try. I've got Coca-Cola, muriatic acid, citric acid, Evapo Rust, white vinegar, and CLR. And I'm going to be testing these to see how long it takes, uh, just how well it works. And I'm also going to test things like the pH so we can see if they're acidic. And I'll discuss what uh, is possibly toxic and what is not. All right, at an hour and a half, the only ones that are doing anything are the muriatic acid, which has definitely started to remove some of the rust, and the citric acid, which just has a lot of sediment starting to come off of it. All right, we're eight hours into the experiment, and there's a bunch of stuff going on with all of them, except for the Coke. All right, so let's look at the Coca-Cola first. And, you know, you can just see here, maybe a little hard on camera, but nothing has been removed and I would expect to see some sediment in here and even when you shine like a light behind it you know it's a dark liquid so it's a little hard to see but there's just no sediment or anything collecting at the bottom so the coke really isn't doing anything now the muriatic acid is doing a lot so this is pretty much all stripped down to bare metal I'm gonna leave it in there I know it looks dark on camera but it is down to bare metal there um, and you can see there's a lot of sediment in there uh, now the citric acid does have a lot going on um, you can see just how much sediment and everything is in there and it is starting to clean it a little uh, maybe some of these just need a little light scrubbing but i don't want to try any of that yet here is the evapo rust you can see that that's gotten a lot darker and there's a lot of sediment that's settled in the bottom. That's the cool thing about evapo rust. It seems like a lot of the sedi sediment always settles out of it. So that's coming out very good. That's, that's very clean right now, actually, and I think it'll be a little more noticeable tomorrow. Uh, the vinegar is definitely getting some sediment and stuff to come off it. It has discolored quite a bit more. And the CLR actually looks like it's doing something too now. It's not down to bare metal yet, but it looks like it's definitely removing some of the rust on there. All right, we're at the 18 hour mark. I've set up little jars of clean water. So let's take all the samples out and see how they look. All right, I went ahead and removed them all from the solution and wiped them down. And let's just take a look at them. So here is the Coca-Cola. Uh, you can see that it's just really done nothing. Or it hasn't even removed like this loose rust that was on the shaft. Uh, muriatic acid has done quite a bit. Uh, it's removed like the loose rust here. And then there was some heavier rust on the actual head of the bolt. And pretty much all of that is gone. Um, the citric acid again really hasn't done a ton even on on the shaft there's still a lot of rust a lot of heavy rust still left on the head uh, the evapo rust has pretty much removed all of it there's just a little bit left on the head there in some of the, the pits and everything but that's all very clean besides that uh, vinegar um, you know, it removed the 
looser rust from the shaft here. Uh, the head of the nut or the bolt still pretty heavily rusted all around. And then the CLR, again, removed some from the shaft, but the head of the bolt is all very rusty still. All right, so a couple takeaways from this. Muriatic acids certainly work the best as far as removing rust goes, but it's important to remember that this is an acid. This was a one on, for pH, uh, so it's very acidic and it's going to remove some of the base material. Whereas the evapo rust, which worked almost just as well, uh, with the exception of that little bit of rust left on the bottom there, which maybe if this was hung in there and not touching on the bottom would have worked better, um, worked in just about the same amount of time as far as, you know, it's been 18 hours for both of them. Uh, but got it very clean and this is not an acid. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. Basically what I'm seeing after this experiment here is CLR, vinegar, citric acid, and Coca-Cola are really not great options. So if you aren't worried about dealing with harsh chemicals and it's not a problem for you to lose any of your base material, muriatic acid is a great option. Uh, don't forget though, any of the acids, you will need to neutralize them. So you need to use something like baking soda. Uh, otherwise, these are just going to start to rust. Actually, just sitting here, this has already started to get a little orange. Uh, now, that is not going to happen with evapo rust because it's not an acid. Uh, it's also 100% non-toxic. Uh, you can dump this stuff out in your garden. It's easier to get rid of. Uh, if you need to dispose of any of the other ones, uh, you should look up how to dispose of them because, uh, like I said, they are dangerous chemicals. They're pretty serious about that on these labels here. Oh, hopefully that ended some of the debate. Um, if you guys have any more questions or anything else that you want me to test, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the experiment and let me know what you're going to use for rust removal. See everybody later. Thanks.